Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Today we've got an existential question of the day for you, which is at what point does bread become toast when you're toasting it? What's the, it's a gradient. Where's the line where bread is no longer bread and it's toast? And furthermore, if a baker over bakes a loaf of bread, did he make a loaf of toast? I don't know. I, I can't keep going on in my life unless I know where the line for toast is. But thankfully, because of these informations coming out about AMD, I know where the line is for the next generation of APUs because the Ryzen 4000 Renoir desktop APU has been spotted in some benchmarks and we have some details about it that are quite delicious. Some would say toasty. So the reason that the Renoir desktop APUs are such a big deal is because they combine the power of the Zen 2 CPU with the new Vega graphics that AMD announced at CES this past year. So you have the plus 15% IPC improvement, which means that for every clock the CPU does, it's 15% faster than its predecessor. You combine that on the CPU side with the 15% better performance AMD said we were get out of the Vega GPUs. And what you have is a smattering of extra performance on little chips that would be good. And we all know 15 plus 15 is 30, but that doesn't mean this thing's 30% faster. I'm just doing math. I'm just adding up numbers. Anyways, the benchmark shows and actually is pretty decent. The 4000G, which is what the benchmark was, has got 5,659 points, but it did so on the low memory frequency of 2,133 megahertz. And it also only had a clock speed of 3.5 gigahertz. And what, from what we know from Ryzen 3000 or Zen 2 CPUs is that they can easily get to the four gigahertz mark. So this may just be a base clock that it's running at, and that performance actually seems to to be pretty good. The Ryzen 4000G with a B550 motherboard doing quite substantially better than you got from the Ryzen 3000G. So this looks to be a good upgrade for the APU and we're excited to see when this comes out. But hardly anybody's excited for the Intel CPUs because they're not gonna go anywhere. First off, they just don't have the performance that everybody's expecting. And then secondly, there are benchmarks coming out showing that the i9-10900T, which is Intel's low powered chip, 35 watt TDP, still has 10 cores and 20 threads. They found that this non-overclockable 35 watt TDP chip is running at 123 watts. That is over three times what the TDP actually is. This thing is pulling a ton of juice through the socket. This is one of the reasons why people expected that Intel's CPUs would be delayed when they were supposed to be announced early in the year because the high-end chips, which have 125 watt TDP, those things are pulling over 300 watts at the socket. So it's a big deal. They're consuming a lot of power. Intel can't make them all nice and power efficient anymore because their technology has stagnated. And when are we gonna start seeing the memes about Intel being the hot and loud one? We need that, come on, tech community. Get us some memes, tweet at me, at UF Disciple. I need to see your Intel hot and loud memes, please. But then let's go ahead and talk about Voldemort quickly, which is, you know, the issue that's spreading across the globe. Everybody's freaking out about it. Well, thankfully, the people over at MSI are apparently doing something quite good for the consumer, which is if any of your warranties that are on your desktop, motherboard, AIO, computer, PC cases, and monitors, not graphics cards and laptops, that if your warranty on those products is expiring in March, they will give you a free extension until the end of May because of the current outbreak that's going on right now. You might not be able to act on your warranty as of yet, or they might not be able to get you the replacement parts in time, or there might be just many moving factors that would re restrict you from actually activating your warranty claim. So they're moving it to the end of May, which seems to be a good move by MSI. I applaud them for this. Obviously, you would expect other computer companies to follow suit with this as of now. Uh, and we'll report on that if it does happen. But good guy MSI for doing that. So that's going to be the end of this quick Sunday edition of Hot News. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to answer the existential question of the day, which is at what point does bread become toast when you toast it? Need to know. Otherwise, I can't eat it anymore. That's the end of this episode. Bye.